We are here with head coach Dan Raymond and Annie Giannoni. Um, Annie, talk about your last second shot. It's not the first time you've done it. <laughs> Um, through your head. Yeah, so we, we had a timeout. Um, we were able to draw the play, and my coaches, my teammates just trusted me to have the ball in my hands at the end of the game, and I felt confident getting to the rack. So. Talk about what it means to get to the Elite Eight. I mean, it's huge. Yeah, it means everything, honestly. Doing it with this team, we have so much grit, and we're, we have, we're so close. Um, this team really is just something special, so this is huge. I'm grateful for Coach, the second time making it to the Elite Eight. It's all around just amazing. Alright, Coach, yeah, just like she just said, it's your second time in the Elite Eight. What what was going through your head at the end of that game to tell them? It was, the one thing that we had told them is, um, and I was just talking with Annie about this, is this is a team that had only suffered two losses all year. Um, we've been in so many close games all season that we felt that if we could get to that situation, we would have the advantage because we've been there so many times uh, throughout the season. So, you know, and it, it worked out, you know, that, you know, Annie hit some clutch shots down the end for us. Um, Cassidy had some, some big free throws. Um, we just made just enough plays to, to beat a really, really good team. I mean, that's, that's a really good team, you know, because we had them on the ropes in the first half and they never died. So, I mean, Annie mentioned grit for us. They were just as gritty as we were. Let's talk about the first half from the second half. You know, the first half you guys came out and really kind of were throwing some punches. What, what changed in the second half that they did differently to kind of throw you guys off a little bit more? Um, I don't know if, if they did anything differently. It's just that's the game of basketball. You, you know, we knew that they were going to make plays and they were going to make shots in the second half. We knew it was going to get close because they're too good a team to just go down like that. So it was just a matter of they made shots and we missed some shots that we needed to make. Um, they worked really hard on the offensive glass and got second opportunities. That's what really kind of, you know, pushed them um, ahead and, and gave them the lead. Um, but again, you know, it was just a matter of, you know, both teams just fighting tooth and nail. And, you know, you saw some of the scrums on the floor and stuff like that. That's what that game was all about. And, you know, we were fortunate to come out on top. Any senior leader, just what do you say to your team in these kind of situations that, you know, you guys have obviously been there before. What are you saying to them? I think the main thing we've stressed is composure. Um, we're not, now that we're here in the tournament, we're going to play very good teams. They're going to go on runs. We're going to go on runs. We just have to remain composed each and every play. And I think that just showed today. We, we were down eight with four minutes to go, and we remained composed and just stuck to our game plan. And then tomorrow, winner of Bowden and New Falls, any thoughts on either of those teams? Not yet. <laughs> no. We'll just focus on just, you know, enjoying the, the moment here that, that we have and, you know, watch, you know, tonight I, I know uh, Mary-Kate and, and Jordan Beers, too, has, has done a great job of helping with the, with the scout and stuff like that. So they've been working on both New Paltz and Bowden, but, you know, right now we're just going to savor the moment.